In today's video, I'm gonna teach you all the different ways you can use your Surface Pen within Microsoft Word. Of course, some of these features also work in Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote, and they're not just exclusive to Surface and Word. They are basically available on any Windows 11 device. Of course, it, there are a few features that are specific to the Surface Pen, such as the fact as you have a button here for the lasso, and the back of the pen also works as an eraser. If you do have a different pen that isn't a Surface Pen, I will still show you how to use the eraser and the lasso in Word, even if you don't have the physical buttons. With that being said, let's get into this. So we're here in a blank document in Microsoft Word, and the first thing we're gonna do is either tap on the ribbon, and it's gonna take us straight to our Draw tab, or if you wanna find it afterwards, simply select on Draw. Here you have all the different tools that I'm gonna walk you through today, and a few new tools that have been introduced recently. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the option here of Format Background, because I think this is really cool, and this was a feature that started in OneNote, and you can actually go ahead and add lines, or even add grid rules, to your Word page. Being a Surface device, you can of course zoom in and out, uh, but the fact that you can format your background with ruled lines makes it easier, and of course there is a margin here, so you can start taking notes. My handwriting is pretty bad, but of course we'll turn it around and start erasing as well. A quick tip with Word, not just using the pen, is of course in the top left-hand corner, you have the undo button, or of course the redo button here. But the feature we're showing you right now is of course the fact that you can go ahead and add ruled lines or grid lines to your page and you can ask it to apply it to the full page so it goes all the way to the the edges and then of course underneath that there is a button here for page color adding a page color also makes it a little bit nicer and a bit easier uh, to work on instead of staring at the white page you can add a bit of a pastel color behind it I wouldn't go too bright, but this makes it a bit easier on your eyes as well. For now, I am gonna go none, and I'm just gonna get rid of that page color as well, just because I wanna walk you through a few features here too. Uh, but that was, of course, format background. Next to format background, you have the butter of ruler or stencils. So they've renamed this option to stencils. I believe they will add more features here later, but right now you only have the option of ruler. You use two fingers to navigate your ruler around, and of course it is, it doesn't really have measurements to it, but it does allow you to do things like draw straight lines, which is really quite cool. Once you're done using the ruler, simply press on the ruler button and it will get rid of that as well. If you wanna keep those lines there, awesome. If not, we can use the back of the pen to just erase them that easily. And there is a button here called Draw With Touch. I'm gonna to put the pen down. I'm gonna select on Draw With Touch, and I'm just gonna use my finger to write and draw. Uh, of course, the pen does make it a lot easier and a lot more accurate when you're writing, but we're just gonna erase that. So these are three tools that I would recommend playing around with because they are really, really powerful. Uh, on the right-hand side, so we're gonna go over here in the Drawing Tools section. I'm gonna walk you through each of these right now. This cursor, of course, it allows you to start using your um, your pen as a cursor instead of using it to write or select things. Uh, and you can see I don't have much here, but I'm just scrolling through the page right now. Then I can undo that, or I can select somewhere else. This button here next to it is called the lasso, and this allows you to select items that you've drawn. Uh, of course, we don't have anything drawn yet, so I'm just gonna grab a pen, start drawing. Now I'm gonna select on the lasso, and I can choose to grab individual items or I can grab everything here and move it around the page, make it bigger, make it smaller, or in the right click context menu that automatically pops up, I can do things like wrap the text, put, bring it to the front or the back, uh, or for now, I'm simply gonna go cut. Uh, the lasso button is of course activated by either the button on the pen. So let's do that one more time where I'm gonna press and hold the lasso to select or if you don't have the button on your pen, you're simply gonna select on lasso here and go ahead and start writing around it. Another tip or two tips I am gonna give you, let's get that pen back, is your surface automatically has palm rejection, so don't feel like you need to hold the pen or your hand off the screen. You can actually comfortably rest your hand on the screen and you can see it's only listening to the surface pen and my hand isn't actually smudging or it's not moving the page. The other thing I'm gonna show you uh, and when I move the pen tip away, that allows my hand to take control again. But when the t uh, pen tip is close, my, my hand has no control. It's listening to the pen tip and not your hand input. 
The other thing I want to show you is, of course, if you press lighter or harder, you can actually get more or less ink out of the, the pen here. But we're going to zoom out of that. And now we're just going to start erasing everything one more time. Uh, of course, if you don't have a rubber at the back of your pen, there is the rubber icon here. Uh, and you can drop this option down and you can choose it to have a different thickness. And you can have it as the eraser where it erases everything or you can have it as a point eraser. So let's actually make it a little bit bigger and we're just gonna start erasing parts of that. Um, so you could choose to either have it as erasing every single line or you can have it as erasing individual pieces like you would with a real pen. So that's really quite cool and really quite, uh, quite easy to use. Next to that, you have five different pen options. This one here with the A next to it is a feature that was being requested for so, so long. It is uh, called Convert Your Handwriting to Text. So if we select on this option here, and for this, I'm just gonna actually add in some ruled lines. Uh, I'm gonna start writing and say, this is a, whoop, let's undo that. This is a, much requested feature. And let's zoom in. You can see here it is automatically, whoop, I zoomed in too far. Uh, it is automatically converting my handwriting into text, which has been a feature people have asked for for so, so long. Uh, and it is the draw pen with the A option here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out, oh, zoomed out too far. Uh, and then you can start, of course, editing this with your keyboard and mouse. So now that it's text, you will have to start editing this with your keyboard and mouse for more accuracy. But that is a much requested feature that people have asked for for so long. Ah, it put that as 5,000 long, but it's not perfect, but you get the idea. It's really quite cool. Uh, and then of course, let's get rid of that formatted background one more time. And let's get rid of this here. You used to be able to squiggle through everything. They have removed some of the older inking features. An option like that previously allowed you to add or delete items, but now you will have to go through. You can't even select it. You will have to use your keyboard and mouse to delete this here. But I'm just gonna double tap with my finger, press and hold for the uh, right click menu. And I'm just gonna go cut. I'm gonna get rid of that. Now we have our drawing tools. So we have our regular pen. You have two options here and whatever color you set it as, it will remain. And then you can simply choose the thickness of your pen and then you can just choose some different colors here if you don't always want to be writing with a black pen. And you can just start writing and drawing. That's quite thick, uh, but it's also super responsive as you can tell. Right now we're just drawing on a blank canvas, uh, but I will show you this button here of a drawing canvas as well in a little bit later on. Uh, and next to your two pen options, you do have a pencil option as well, which just gives it a bit more of a crayon or a pencil feel. Uh, so it, it mimics a, a crayon instead of always mimicking a, a pen. Uh, I'm just gonna press and hold my lasso again, select all that, Whoop, didn't hold the button for long enough. Press and hold to right click and then go cut, get rid of that. Of course, if you're liking this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. And of course, let's keep working away. Uh, you have the highlighting option here, and this is really cool. Uh, previously, it was always just free form like we're working with now, but I'm gonna open up a blank document. Sorry, I'm gonna open up a sample document uh, to show you how this has actually changed quite a bit for the better. So here I've got an old script of mine that I wrote about Copilot Pro, uh, and I'm gonna go back into my draw tab and I'm gonna select on the highlighter again. When I automatically select on it, it's just gonna go free form, and this is gonna allow me to sort of just go wherever I want and I can use the back of the pen as an eraser. This is nice, but it is kind of messy. If we select on the drop down arrow, you can of course choose the thickness and the color, more options of color as well, but then there's a new button called snap to text. So if we select snap to text, I'm gonna be just as messy, but you'll see what's happening is, and let me zoom in for you, 
I can go through and I can just start highlighting text and it will snap it exactly to that text. I can change the color of that highlighter uh, and this just makes it seem so much more accurate and of course a lot neater. Uh, so that's a really big feature that I wish I had when I was in uni because uh, I used to highlight things all the time. One caveat to this is that if you are snapping to the text, you can't use the background or the eraser to get rid of it. You will have to either undo or just use your keyboard and mouse to undo the highlighting as well. But really quite cool that you can select a range of different colors here and then snap it to the text. Now we're gonna keep on uh, going and I'm actually just gonna scroll out. I'm gonna select in the middle over here and I'm actually gonna drop in a drawing canvas. So this says insert a drawing canvas to create space to draw. If we select on that where I tapped before, it gives me a little drawing canvas and this allows me to just start putting things like a diagram in uh, or anything that I can really draw uh, right into the center of my, my page here. Uh, of course, being essentially a text box, you can choose to move it around uh, behind the text, in front of the text, uh, however you think it works best. Um, and then you can choose to make it bigger, smaller, uh, but this little text box is quite cool because it allows you to say, hey, I've got an idea, select on drawing canvas, and then you can just start adding things in here. So you've got your formatted page and then you've got your handwriting as well. In a tool like this, you can of course select the lasso and you can choose it to select everything or you can just choose to grab bits and pieces and move it around the page just like that. Well, I made it bigger instead of dragging it around, that's okay. Ah. Um, you will have to sometimes be, for these smaller items be a little bit more accurate because it feels like we are grabbing the um, the sides here, but that's where you can see it's got this little uh, four square arrow and that allows you to move it around if you're not being accurate enough by grabbing the center of that page or center of that drawing. Uh, but drawing canvas is really quite cool because it allows you to just drop something straight in there. There is of course, when you have drawing canvas selected, a button called ink replay. Now ink replay automatically replays the uh, keystrokes or the inking stro strokes you've done. So people can watch back how you drew or created whatever you've done. So if I select on ink replay, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna leave this error in there uh, just to show you that things aren't always, always perfect. Uh, so let's actually do another demo of ink replay over here. So you'll see here that using Ink Replay, I can select on that text and then I can watch back how that section there was drawn or created. Um, over here though, in the Drawing Canvas, I guess it doesn't work in the Drawing Canvas. I just learned that as we were going. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And of course, I'm always learning as, uh, as I create these videos with you. There is a button here called Ink to Shape. Uh, and this automatically converts things like my messy circles into much nicer shapes. So I'm gonna scroll down, or let's actually just add a new page here. So it's just easier to show you this on a blank page. Uh, I am gonna select on the option of ink to shape. So now we're on ink to shape. If I draw something like a circle or a square, right, that was a bad square, I guess it didn't pick it up. Ah. It usually works, but again, I'm gonna keep these in to show you that it is not always perfect. My squares really don't seem to be registering today. Uh, maybe I try a hexagon. Uh, let me know if your squares work because if you get my squares and triangles and, and all my other shapes, but my squares just don't seem to be accurate right now. Uh, never had this issue, but again, I'll keep this in there to show you that it is not always perfect, but it is pretty good with a few other shapes. Uh, just not my square for today. Um, but ink, ink to Shape allows you to create things like diagrams and just really make uh, your page look a little bit nicer. A tip with Ink to Shape though is of course, if you use the back of the pen or use your eraser, you can get rid of those freeform writings, but on these shapes here, it doesn't work. You'll have to again select on that shape and then choose to delete or cut it. 
if I select on my lasso, because we have a bigger page here. Again, I can select all of the drawings. I'm gonna press and hold with my right finger to bring up that right click menu, select on delete. But again, I can't delete those shapes uh, with the pen. I do need to use the delete button instead. The last thing I wanna show you for today, because I feel like we've gone through a lot, is a very cool button called Ink to Maths. This was a feature that started in OneNote and now it's making its way into the other uh, M365 programs. This allows you to handwrite your mathematics equations instead of uh, instead of having to use the keyboard and mouse all the time. So if I select on Ink to Math, this little dialog box is gonna pop up. We can of course try and make it bigger. Uh, it's easy to grab if you have your, um, your, your keyboard and your mouse with you. But there we go, I've grabbed it. And then you can start writing maths here. I'm gonna just do a simple equation. One plus one equals two divided by three. And you can see here it shows you what it's gonna be when you select it in. Uh, you can, of course, choose the eraser if the back of your pen doesn't erase. So I'm going to actually erase whoop, erase that, uh, and then it updates here. Uh, but there is a button called Select and Correct. So if you accidentally or if it didn't pick up something correctly, you can actually go Select and Correct, circle around what you are, what was incorrect, and before you go Insert, you can actually change it, and it gives you a few samples or ideas of what that item would have been. So maybe instead of a three, it's a two. You see, it doesn't actually change my handwriting, but it does change the input up the top here. And then I'm gonna select an insert down the bottom and it will insert that equation straight into the page. It did pick up a little circle here uh, because I must have accidentally touched the screen and added a dot. But if I select on the drop down button here, you can then choose to do things like save it as a new equation for later. Uh, and then you've got a whole range of other options as well uh, for you to just do a lot more detailed mathematics. It's a pretty simple equation, um, but a great way of actually handwriting instead of using the keyboard mouse and all these buttons up here. It's much faster using your pen to input maths equations. And there you have it. Those are all the different ways you can use your Surface Pen inside of Microsoft Word. I didn't expect this video to be so long, but that's because there were so many features, I wanted to show you all of them. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and if you're on a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.